Hello everyone and I know you guys always wait for our session so with my new haircut I am back with another new session new workout today and today's workout is basically for those who just want to sit on their couch or on the chair and still want to get fit so today's workout is for you and today I am going to use some weight. If you don't have weight, then you can quickly fill up a 500 bottle, 500 ml bottle, or 1000 ml bottle, just to make them as a use them as a weight. So, and for today's workout, we have a special guest, and that is our skipper, is our captain of our team, and he's from Nigeria. So, I am going to welcome Bala Al Hassan. Welcome, Bala. Welcome to our session. And uh, definitely, how, how are you doing this? Really? Yeah, I'm doing really good. Really good? Yes. Uh, and uh, so, are you excited for the session today? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> so, I prepared few exercises for you. Okay. And in today's workout, I think uh, it's for those who just want to sit at home on their couch but still want to get fit. So, welcome to our masterclass series, Week 8 with Tala Alasa. Okay, so let's get started. So, first what you have to do is, we start our warm up. We're going to put our chairs, we're going to put our weights here, like this. And this is the first position. Okay, so you guys, I hope you guys are also ready. And we have to position yourself like this. And first exercise, we're going to start with four. Okay, so you can go like this. We start with an abductor stretch. One, two, Ten on the side, then ten on the side. Okay. Then once we finish, we take rest for ten seconds, and then we go for the leg swings, four leg swings, like this, using the chair. Okay. So ten with the right, ten with the left. Okay. So we do finish this one, and then we move to the mat, and then we do some stretching and mobility for our rest. Okay. Ready? Yes, sir. Great. Good. Okay. So I hope you guys are also ready for the session. And ready? Let's start. Let's go. Quick. Ten. Yeah. So this exercise is basically for your abductor stretch. So whenever you go for the weight training and all, you guys have to actually work on your every part of your muscle. You know, because today's in today's workout, we're going to hit our pectoral muscles, quad muscles, glute muscles. Then the core muscles you're going to hit because today is the whole body workout, you know. And so these are some mobility exercises you can do because your brain need to sense what which muscles you are actually activating and you're working on uh, when you're working on with the weight. Right. So yeah. And now after this, we go with the whole leg swings. Okay. Okay, that's great. Now we go with the leg swings. Okay, hold. Yes. So you can see how you can use uh, your couch or how you can use your chair, right? So once if you get tired, you can sit on the chair, have some water, and then get back to the workout again, right? Okay. Ten from the left side. Exactly. Now in this one, this is for your adductor and abductors for both. So you go out, high up, and then inside. Very well. Ten of these. Okay, right. And done. So we go one one side of each. Next one, we go like this. Okay, so we go for the straight one. Okay, so we go try to give some tension to our boot muscles and the quad ones. Exactly. So. It's, if you can't uh, go that high, it's up to you. Actually, you can bend your knee. You can just go like this, okay? But just give a bit tension to your quad. Just keep it tight. And then when you go back, just keep the glute muscles side. And with this. Yes. So throughout the workout, we're going to keep this object and in, try to involve, uh, involve these objects. I know uh, all exercises. Okay, right. One side only. Now we move this chair. Okay, and we go with some stretching. Okay, so this is uh, we call it squat reach. Okay, so here we go like this. Okay, we bend, we come up, we bend, then and then we up. 
It's okay. One. Then again, we go up, we sit, hold, and then we stretch like this and stretch like this. Okay. Five, five on each side. Okay. So this is a very great exercise if you really want to release uh, some tension from your hips. Okay, and from your the quads. Let's go. Touch your toes. Yes. Sit down. Go. One on the left now. Yes. And then one on the right. Yes. Then up. Yes. Go down. Yes. And then go. Yes. Yes. Great. Okay. Can you, can you sit? Hold. Okay. Yeah. So, Bala, just small one. It was small connection. You have to sit. Hold. Like this. Exactly. Yes, this is a certain motion. Now you go one up. Yes, down and then this. And down and this. Okay, that's great. Yes, this. So this is for the whole body mobility, you know. You can actually judge how far you can uh, reach there. Five, five on each side. Last one. That's it. So, that. so yeah. Now next one, you go with a uh, jumping squat with some twist okay jump squat. yeah so it's, it's not a jump squat it's a squat with just a knee drive okay so knee drive is you one quick on the side twist one and then you go down one and then you go down like this okay you just side twist and then you ready let's go so we go five five on each side let's go yeah one and down good one and down one down one down that's it well uh, so when you play a lot of times your this strong muscle is involved you know this pelvic muscle when you pass when you shoot a lot of time so this is going to stretch and give focus on those areas that's it well done uh, so we just let a uh, stretch of it knock out core muscles there core when you change sword Yes, then we change this for Okay, right now we are all set. Our warm up is done. Okay, now we will we'll actually move to the next exercise and we talk about the Bala's journey. Okay, and we discuss a lot of things. So just keep your question post in our comment box for him, for Bala, and for me. We are definitely going to answer at the end of the session. Right, so now we can have a set bar. Okay. That's the model. That is mine. So, again, uh, when you're doing the workout at home, so what you can do, you can just sit like this on your couch if you're tired. You can have a bottle, 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 <laughs> and you can drink if you don't want to leave your couch. Right, so. So, but, uh, I think uh, I'm always excited. And today is my chance to ask you this yeah. because uh, I am watching you play uh, in Delhi when uh, actually I haven't started the coaching. Okay, so now you are with me, so I am very excited to know uh, all the answers and obviously the audience also <laughs> uh, want to know the answer. Okay. How, when, when, like how your journey of football started? Yeah, my journey of football started uh, at the age of. 17 I started playing like professional football. Okay. I started playing in Nigeria. In Nigeria. Right? Nigeria. Yeah. So I started playing primary school at the age of I think uh, 10, 11. So after that my game master, we call it game master. Yeah. So he now took me from my primary school to one of the academy. Mm -hmm. As we call it Pepsi Academy. It's one of the famous academy in Nigeria. Pepsi Academy. Okay. Pepsi Academy. Okay. Yeah. So it's like just like the, the one of the famous academy in Nigeria, Pepsi Academy. He took me there for one and a half year, like scholarship. scholarship. Mm -hmm. So I was there. From there, I started improving. So after that, they brought me back. Okay. So after that, I got a, an agent who took me from Pepsi Academy to South Africa, to play in Sondas in South Africa. So from there, my mom asked me, no, I have to have to study. And really, I don't like study. I just want to, I want to play football. And so my mom said, I was like, start having some problem with my mom regarding my study. So after that, I came back home to Nigeria, studied at least I did my diploma. After that, she said I should 
further, uh, further my education, which I, 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 have, I don't want to do, and I don't want to further my education. Then after that, I run away from home to my friend's place to spend, like, my friend is a very good footballer, so if they come, I will connect you with some thing. So I left home for almost two, three months. After that, I called my mom, I already have an academy. They are paying very small money. <laughs> and that's, so that's how I started. Then my mother said, okay, you started getting salary? I said, yeah, how much is salary? 10,000 is worth like 4,000 rupees in, in India. Okay. Then I'm getting 12,000. Then okay. after that, I sent the money to her. She was so she excited. Was like, yeah, okay, no problem. <laughs> you're getting paid. Yeah, you're getting paid. That's, that's a very interesting story. So then I said, okay. So after that, I got selected from one amateur. Because in that team, there was no like good salary. So after that, I got I got invited from one uh, amateur one, which is one of the toughest league in Nigeria. Amateur one, so I got selected in that team. Uh, Leopa, Angpa Leopa. The name of the team is Leopa. So I started my professional football from there. So after that, from Leopa, I got uh, invited to Nigeria Premier League side, Lobi South Football Club. So after that, I spent one and a half year playing as a right back. So I started as a right back, then after some like couple of months, they changed my position, start playing the midfield, playing the stopper, playing the left back. So I played in every position. <laughs> so that's why when I came to even when I came to India, I started from the striking role. I was yeah. playing with uh, Gerwal FC. I started playing as an attacker, as a striker, and I scored goals. So we talk about India. Mm -hmm. Okay, but tell uh, I think it's a very interesting story. Mm -hmm. so I it's also very long. The story is very long. Yeah, definitely. So I think let's move to the workout okay. and in between we keep uh, putting these questions. Okay, 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 okay. let's go. Okay. okay, so the next one. We again going to use our chair now. Okay. So the next uh, we go with the pelvic bridge. Okay. Now so we have to be stay in a sideways position. Okay. 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 Like this. And we have to balance very well. Okay. okay. And we go in start like this. One, two, three, like this. Okay. Okay. Right. So we use this. So we go 10 times uh, from the right, 10 times from the left. Okay. And this is, so if you can't do this, don't I use, use this. Or should I use elbow or shoulder? Elbow. Okay. You have to come elbow. Okay. Yes. Okay. So if you are finding is this one is a difficult, no problem. You can just keep one leg up and then you do the properly. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Right. Ready? Let's go. Okay. So, yes, one, yes, ten times, yes, yes. So, if you are using the chair or the couch, then try to keep your pelvic as high as you can, okay? And this is, we're going to work on the oblique muscles on this side, okay? So, okay, okay, we need to move the chair on that side, okay? Just so you can face the camera, go like this, on that line, then keep your foot over there, this side. We go on the other side. Obviously, you cannot uh, change your couch, so you can do the way you want in this one. Okay? Yeah. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. Good, huh? Right. So, we put the chair back into there. Okay, now we wait for 15 seconds. Then, after 15 seconds, we move to the core. So, with this exercise, we actually hit the oblique part of our this muscles, right? Yes. Okay, now next one, we're going to do the core exercise. Okay, now, so we have to lay down on this. I'll show you. Mm. Come back. Come this way. Okay, so, yeah, can we pass our ball? Now, for the core circuit, what you have to do is, okay, either if you have ball, no issue, if you don't have the ball, still no issue. Try to go close on the 90 degree, like this, okay. First, just go towards the roof, okay, let's go one, two, three, so we go five times like this, this is for the upper abs, okay, then five times you go like this, one, up, one, two, yeah, up, one, two, okay, and, the last one, we go in this, 
Now you can relax from the chair. Okay. Position. Just sit. Watch your Netflix and do the workout. Ready? Yeah. So we start with the lower one. So we work. Yeah. yeah. Come a bit close. Yes, exactly. So we hit the upper abs first, ball up, and try to go towards the roof. That's it. 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Now we go for the lower ones. Yeah. Hold it. Yes. You can hold it. No problem. Okay. No problem. Yeah. You can keep the ball with you. Yeah. Yes. And last one. Yes. Okay, now we go on the chair, yeah, this we go with 10, okay, right, so this exercise is for the lower abs, so the three exercise that we have done in the socket, one for the upper, then middle, and then the lower ones, okay, right, now in this one, another variation you can do it, uh, can you show another variation, you can go with like the crisscross, yes, just keep the legs straight, hold the position, yes, maybe you can go up, down, up, down, yes, like this, here's another version, and then maybe you can go side to side, crisscross, exactly, in this way, so you can choose your uh, variation, how you want to go and combine all these exercises, that's it, well, thank you, right, okay, now let's move to the next one, so in the next exercise, we need weights, okay, now I've already told you how you can actually make weights. First, you can fill up the bottles, maybe 500 ml or uh, 1000 ml. Okay, if you don't have the bottle, then what you can do, you can use bag. If you have a school bag, just put the uh, books inside that according to your uh, convenience, how much weight you want. Okay, and then you can do the exercise. But make sure you need to strap the bag tightly. So this one is the basically dumbbell tube squat. So we start in this position, we keep the back straight, we go up and up, up and down, okay, with these weights. So I know these are very, uh, th these are not weights for you because you do with some heavy ones, <laughs> so not going to affect you. But for our audience, because sometimes they have just uh, this much of space to work out and uh, no weight, so you can get the alternate of this. Ready? Okay, so we start with the down position, let's go down. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. Good. Okay, next one. I think you have done this one before. So, this is called split squat. 90 degree, 90 degree, we go down with the weights, try to stretch the hip flexor. Okay, and then come up like this. Okay, simple. You can stay. I just if you are still close to your couch. Ready? Let's go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This exercise is going to work on your glute, the hamstring, and the core muscles. Four. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And if you guys have nothing, if you don't have this, if you don't have water bottles or any weight, still you can do these exercises without weight or without the couch. Okay. Next, again, okay, you are still with your couch. No, this couch is not going anywhere. Okay. So this is called bent row. We will use one only. Okay, so we are going to start with this, this back leg straight, okay, the body, the, your uh, back is straight, we go one, two, so I hope, I hope you have done this one, yes. yeah, let's go, so we go ten with the right and ten with the left, so for this one, yes, back straight, this leg straight, yes, you can bend this one, yeah, and then we go start, exactly, right, two, Three, four, five, six. So this one going to work on your pectoral muscles, right? On this side. And when you're keeping this leg straight, so this is your hamstring. Okay? Yes. Now other side. 
Exactly. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. So we can see how much he's sweating. So that's the workout. Still, you can afford at home while sitting on your couch and with some weight. And another one, the last one. So the clock is running still for your. This one is called RDL. It's called Russian deadlift, but with single leg. Okay, there are different different variations. So we start with our variation. We're going with this. Okay, so you have to hold it weight like this. Okay, or the good one is for you. You can use. So you can go this and back straight, and then come up. Okay, like this, and then back. Come up, hold, and then back. Straight. We'll do this one. Yeah, exactly. So this exercise, why we are doing this? Exactly. Because when we play football, a lot of time throughout the game, throughout the training, we put pressure on the single leg, whether you're kicking, whether you're passing, whether you're heading, wherever you're going. So you always one leg is involved. So you have to strengthen that leg. So if you look, this is happening. You have to keep this leg straight. Straight, exactly. So you're working on your hamstring on this side, and if you look, this posture totally T. You have to make a T of it, and it is. So this is called single leg RDL. Great. Two. So that's a actually example of a nice posture. Straight one, going with weights. And if you don't have weights, no show, sure, I'll give you uh, the one or two variation. If you can't do it this way, if you have any problem with your hamstring or with your hamstring or uh, maybe with balancing. Okay, so right. So I, I give you the variation of this. First one, if you are the intermediate or already training or if you are semi-professional, okay, what you can do, you can keep this leg straight. Okay, you go and then up. Okay, you just go and then up. You just go and then up. This is another one. And no, just just for the audience, okay? And if you still can't manage, okay, to balance yourself, what you can do, you just hold your couch straight and then back. Straight, just take the help of it. Straight and then back. Straight and then back. That's it for you. Okay, we are done with our first set. So let's have some water and again we come back to your story. Now the actual questions come. <coughs> so Bala, what made you come to the India? Uh, actually, what made me come to India was that uh, one of a friend of mine who played in the same team. Actually, he's having more connection. His father is more connected. Okay. Me, my father is no more. I have only more. So, his father is like well connected with some politicians. So he got he moved from uh, Nigeria to Germany. His name is Uja Anthony. So he started playing in Germany, making a lot of money. Then I had long last. My mom also started picking interest. Like Uja is making it in Germany. Why don't you look for somewhere and travel? Travel to somewhere. Said, no, now my mommy now starts getting interest. You want to make money in football. And I said, okay, now school's apart. <laughs> so go and make money in football. <laughs> then I said, okay, no problem. Then a friend of mine just called me that to say, I know you're playing in Nigeria, Dig uh, One, there's a first division in Nigeria. So what you do now? I've got him one contact with India. Will you go to India? I said, yeah, since I'm abroad, I can see I can play. India, there's football in India. Then football is not that advanced in India. So I said, let me come. So after that, I don't have money for flying, nothing. But he has to use his own money to pay me to India. You go and play in India. So when I came here, unfortunately, I went to Mumbai. I was supposed to sign Mumbai FC at then. So because of my visa problem, I was not having JDU visa to play the professional league one. Then have to come back to Delhi. So after coming back to Delhi, then uh, one of my friends was saying like that. He was, um, I think, old player. I think the Garwal is an old player. 
Then he said, come on, let's go for tournament in Bori. That's how I started. <laughs> I went to Bori, Bori champion. So which was your first tournament in India? It's Garwal FC. Garwal FC. So he's, uh, he's going to be yeah. a legend for the Garwal FC? No, no, no. Garwal FC. <laughs> Always. I'm proud of Garwal FC. That's it. So how, how long have uh, you been playing for the Garwal FC? Actually, I've uh, been playing since from last nine years, maybe. I think, if, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's almost nine years. Nine oh, this is a team who have changed my life. Yeah. Changed my life. They supported me in anything. I think for me, it's the best thing in India. For me, I don't know for it's the best in India for me because they really try a lot for me. They are very supportive. Both official, Mr. Patwalsa, Mr. Negi, and uh, Mr. Popura. What? They are all, they are all supportive. So I, I feel more comfortable here. Here is like my home. Any kind I like. I come to Kalwa. I've played in League One in Minerva Punjab also. I played there, but I'm very com much comfortable to play here in Bengal FC. And they have changed my life. I'm so happy to play here. And uh, so that's why Bala is back with us after playing I League mm -hmm. there uh, with I think Minerva. Yeah, Minerva. And then, yeah, then yes. you went to the Kerala uh, FC also. FC Kerala. I played in several clubs. So yeah. Bala has uh, like huge experience of, of playing uh, all around India mm -hmm. and different different clubs, different different culture like me yeah. and uh, that's why he always a part of Garwal FC yes. because of his past experience and this. So that's great. I think we'll continue our story but let's back to the walkout of our second set. Let's go. So we're going to repeat uh, the same one. Okay. So we're going to start with the pelvic bridge. Yeah. Okay. That one. Okay. Then we go with the course. Okay. Yeah. So, if you guys have any questions uh, regarding the workout, you can post uh, in our comment box. And if you have any suggestion, like what kind of a workout you want, still you can post it. We try to work it on work on that and we'll try to bring in front of you for you. Ready? Let's go. Two, three, four. Why? Not in this situation, if you are uh, having difficulty to stay on your elbow, you can actually come on your palm, straight hand, and in the level of it. Yeah, just and move, and just side, and on the chair. Face it, face it, yeah. 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 So, throughout the workout, we now are going to leave the couch. That's great. Ready that? And this one, if you go for more set, it depends on your capability, like how many uh, reps and how many sets you can do. If you can do only one, it's enough for us. Still, you are actually working out. Plus, if you can go with more two and three, it's on your capability. Okay? And Water breaks, if you want to take water breaks after every each exercise, you can take it, okay, because you're working in your less oxygen, so you need more water. Okay, now let's move to the core one. Okay. Your, I think core is always the favorite exercise of power because every time, so we start with the lower one, yeah, legs up. So I, every time you want to go with this, first okay, this one, this one, okay. Yeah, yeah. Please the ball. Yeah, please the ball. So every time when I have seen Bala working out, he always uh, focus on his abs. So he he has have six abs. He has uh, eight and ten abs. <laughs> Ready? Let's go. Up, four, towards the floor. Yes. So these 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 sets are nothing for it. He actually always do like hundred or uh, hundred reps and four five sets of apps every time so whenever I see it so that's why it's the core power of our team that's great and even this this one if you are not capable of going full strength you can change the variation according to you you can now check yeah, that's it. 
And there's one thing that which I didn't tell Bala because at the end I have something for you which you all know but Bala do. Let's go. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. Hold on. Right. Now our weights. Okay, the weight, the weight, the weight. Jump. Yeah, jump squat, we do. Okay, in that one, we're not going that right. Okay, we try to stay on the shoulder length. Okay, not to worry. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Up, one, two. When you're jumping, make sure you don't land on your toes or on your heels. Okay, you have to go for the stick jump, stick. Just land toes and then on your whole step. Okay, so don't just jump, otherwise you can, uh, there are chances you can twist your legs. Okay, you got split, uh, squats. Just wait for my One, two, three, four, eight, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six. Change one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's great. Okay, we take take some rest because you know we are indoor. Yeah. So obviously, you can have a sip of water. And I want to ask, like you are doing workout, right? This is yes. yeah. how many days you do? Like a week. Yeah, in a week. How many yeah. sessions you do? Like uh, I do five times in a week. Five times, yeah, uh, I can see from your physique. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Six times, seven times. Yeah, that's great. So any particular exercise that you can give to our audience with weights or maybe without weight? Maybe there are any exercises maybe I you more to know what kind of a uh, Yeah, most especially I run a lot. Running gave me strength. Because it depends on my position. Yeah. I play in defensive midfield, which is a, one of the difficult positions in field of play in football. So I was like, I run a lot as my own workout. I do a lot of running, a lot of core exercise, a lot of sometimes not so much of gym, but strength is my motto. So that's what I do. I'll show you an example. What I do to give me strength, I'll show you right now. So you can follow that. Yeah, definitely. I'm going on core exercise right now. Okay. Okay. Right. Say, go. Let's go. One, two. Okay. Say, I told you, we will go only with these. Let's go. We will always do this. Yeah, let's start. Go. One, two. Two. One. So we are adding some explosiveness also in this core. One, two, one, two, one. You <laughs> have to concentrate. You after that, concentrate. you don't have to take much rest. There is no two, three second rest. Again, you have to go this way. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Just twenty, then hold it this way. How many seconds should you do these planks? 25 seconds. That's it? 25 seconds? And how many sets? 4 sets. Then back. One, two, three. Then you have to go down. I think these. As exercises, it definitely improve 
And if you want physics like power, yes. And this is a straight line, right? There is no rest in between. You can hold. So these are the exercises that we actually done previously in our sessions also. And these are the exercises which were also following. So you can understand like if you want physique like Bala, then you can go again this way. Go back and watch all our sessions to have these kind of things. These are planks, right? Mm -hmm. So hold.
they are more than better, they are more than good because Karwal are too good. So I feel more comfortable to play here because officials, they have good qualified coaches, good coaches who can understand players' situation. They don't give force to the players, they teach a very good football and they are very cooperative. So football is just normal about fighting, forcing, pressure. I'm just professionally I'm just relaxing the world. And I always advise everyone. There may be uh, speculation out there, maybe I don't know, but when you play in Gabal for one season, you always spend the rest of your life in the world because you are good hearted people. I'll always tell you I'm proud of the world. Even a high league team is I inviting me to play in the high league right now. But I want to play in the world because I want to fulfill what they don't pay evil back with evil. They have given me good, I have to pay them what they have given to me. So, so Bala is our Steven Gerrard. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you want to uh, end your uh, career with Karmal? No, no, no. And my, my God grace, inshallah, I will end up my career here. But after this season, I'm planning to go to play in a high league again. But after that, I'm, I'm sure 110%, inshallah, if I'm alive, I will play. I will end up my career here in, in the world. Okay, that's great. Let's see. Okay, now it's time for a surprise for you. You didn't know. And, but our audience show this very well. Okay, so this is, uh, yeah. we call it a challenge. Okay, and this is a challenge. We do it after every workout. And so if you're following us, then definitely you know. So what we're going to do is, so this is the bucket challenge part 2. We have seen the last one with the Rohit. So Rohit did with the juggling and plays the ball there. But today there is a twist in this one. Okay. So this much is the distance. What you have to do is, you have to... It's a bit difficult. I, I made it difficult for you because otherwise it will be easy for you. So you just have to flip the ball. Ooh. That's my one. No, no, it is. It's a mistake. It's a mistake. It's a mistake. <laughs> so, but this, this, this glass is not going. <laughs> you have to put it directly okay. inside. Okay. So I'll give you five chances. Out of five chances. No, no, no. <laughs> I'll give you five chances. Out of five chances, you have to put two times in without bounce. That was for me because. Yeah, that was the easy level for me. Ready? Five times directly using your head. Now watch it carefully, right? Let's go. One. Woo -hoo. That's one. I stand it. Maybe. No, I have not to stand it. You get tired. Sam, he wants to know that how do you describe Bala as a player and as a captain? 
Bala as a player and as a captain. So as a player, like uh, I'm watching Bala playing from a uh, very long time, you know, and as a player, he's a tough guy, okay? He never give up easily and definitely he stay calm under pressure. He never show, I never seen him fighting with anyone. He always stay calm, he always work on the positive uh, things, has a positive attitude, very humble, down to the heart guy, right? That's why he's in my team and as a captain, so he always lead the team from behind whenever there is any uh, thing in the team like any gym chats and anything goes on or well, if we lose the game so he is the one who actually uh, bring everyone together and make them stand on their feet and give them the confidence feel like we can do it and we can do all together yes and being the senior player in the team you know he shared his experience with the younger ones also so they also respect him so that's why as a captain i am seen as a leader of our team thank you yeah okay, so bala question for you maktu wants to know that your journey till date what is your best match you have played till now <laughs> best match i played till now is not from the high league but in the high league all my matches when i started playing in high league all my matches I won all my matches away matches like I saw FC and uh, East Bengal and beat East Bengal at home. I defeated them up there at Kolkata. But uh, my best match so far I've seen is when I'm playing against Hindustan in, in, in Delhi. It's just like Manchester United and Manchester City. So I yeah, this is one of my rivals here. So, <laughs> so I defeated and I was the one who scored a goal for Garwal against Hindustan. So it's one of kind of my great moments. Great, okay. great. So one more question for you, Bala, from Akash. He wants to know what was your biggest challenge as a captain of Kadbal? My biggest challenge is that, uh, actually, the thing is that, uh, my challenge is that I want to bring the teams together and I want, I want, see, my challenge is that I want us to win this second division high league. I want, I want to bring the teams together and I want to be with my uh, team. I always want to make sure we, 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 all the things came uh, come out in a positive result so question for anup sir what was the best match you have seen bala played or best leadership quality you have seen bala pointing out in his game best game he played I think that was against the 18. Yeah, when he scored that the only goal for us. So I think it was uh, the recent game uh, with 18. He scored the only goal and I've seen his backflip also in that game. And uh, the game which actually uh, brought everyone together was I think the game against the Jamshedpur, right? Yes. Yeah, we were winning and then suddenly the match actually got 2 2. And there everyone got panicked because we were uh, winning that game. And but yes, that was uh, the they always like up and down. Yes. So that because that's a, that's a football. So one game you can be up, and another game you can be down. But Bala was always there, you know, to keep them all together. And we have more games uh, in line. So that was a simple rule. You lost here, just go in their home and win the game again, right? So that was our experience with Bala. So again, uh, question for you, Bala. Karan wants to know what was your who is your idol? My idol player is Kashmiru. Kashmiru of Real Madrid. Ah, Kashmiru. He's my, he, yeah, he's my role model. <laughs> I'm always up to him only. Uh, one more question from Ashish. He wants to know that what are your thoughts for upcoming high league? For me, there's nothing we have to qualify for the high league only. Because I know. I will have a coach like Anup sir, we have like Vikas sir, and the management are very supportive. So we have been winning from the first round. So what will stop us from the second round? So I don't see any reason if the other teams are reinforcing, we don't have, that's none of our problem. But we know we are united and we have good coaches and we believe in our coaches, our coaches believe in us. So I believe we will get a positive uh, result for the team and we are get into the high league. That's what I know. That's what I think. And that's what I, I believe we are doing. And we believe in our capital. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. So, one more question from Virat. Your message to the young kids. 
First thing I will only tell the kids is that, see, when we start football in a young age, the first thing should be discipline. Discipline is very, very important. You have to be disciplined and you have to learn how to rest. Discipline when you practice, learn how to rest, not after practice, going here and there. After practice, you need to rest and again, you need to focus on study also. Study is very important nowadays. It's not like on our own time. So now I will only give the advice to the children that discipline, number one, whenever you're learning, on that day coaching. If the coach asks you to go and fight, just go and fight. That's the thing. That's the only advice I can give to the team. Discipline. Yeah, I think that's a great message mm-hmm. for everyone. Don't miss studies. Now, these, these days. <laughs> yeah, that's what I say. Don't miss studies. Studies are really important these yeah, days. But that will make him more, uh, yes, you know, yes. more disciplined yes. if you can balance both yes, you know, yes, studies yes, and yes. the game. Yes. So you have to fight for the studies. When you're playing, you have yes. to fight on the pitch. Same what I'm saying. Study is very important. Exactly. For both of the study and you follow what the coach has taught you. So that's a great message for me. And for you guys, we definitely going to meet you the next weekend. And till the time, uh, you can focus on our workout. You can. If you have any recommendation, you can put uh, on our pages and you can send us to, uh, to us and then we can try to bring those exercises or those uh, titles or those kind of exercises in our workout for you. So by that time, uh, stay tuned for the next session. And if you guys are following Champions League, then you can actually follow us in the match discussion tomorrow on our Facebook page at 11.45. So I think it's going to be a very uh, interesting final. What do you think, Balais? Yeah. Whom, whom you're supporting? I'm I'm supporting I'm Bayern, Bayern. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So I am on Bala's side. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so we are, we both are supporting Bayern. So let's see what happened. It's a final, you know, and anything can happen in the final and in football. Uh, till the 90th minute, you never know what can happen. Okay. So till that time, bye bye. Shabakar. Catch you next week. Yeah. Okay.